Hello and welcome to the Bay Pay Forum's daily news podcast. I'm Lisa, here to bring you the latest in payments and fintech. This episode is proudly sponsored by Paycademy.com, your leading online resource for learning about the payments and fintech industry, anytime, anywhere, with over 220 courses at your fingertips. Let's dive into today's top stories. PicPay's new open finance feature simplifies salary portability. PicPay has introduced salary portability via open finance in the market, simplifying the process for workers to transfer their salaries to PicPay. PayerMax obtains PTSP certification in the KSA. Payment solution provider PayerMax has announced that it officially obtained the Payment Technical Service Provider, PTSP, certification from Saudi Payments, on behalf of the Saudi Central Bank. EcomPay launches EcomPay for good. EcomPay has launched a new brand identity and inclusivity program, reflecting its focus on accessibility, inclusivity, and sustainability aiming to achieve financial inclusivity. Citizens and Navin join forces. Citizens and Navin have announced an agreement that combines Navin's all-in-one travel and expense solution and Citizens' commercial banking services. Unimarket and Finexio launch payment risk score for fraud prevention. Unimarket, a provider of spend management solutions, has introduced the Payment Risk Score, PRS, in collaboration with Finexio. O10 q 2 2024 report uncovers automated bot attacks on social media and financial sectors. AU10TIX, a global technology identity verification and management provider, has today released its Q2 2024 Global Identity Fraud Report. SQRX expands reach with acquisition of DIATF-compliant SQR. SQRX has acquired SQR, a provider of digital identity solutions compliant with the UK's Digital Identity and Attributes Trust Framework, DIATF. Revolut Storonsky sells $300 million in company stock. Founder and chief exec at fintech giant Revolut, Nick Storonsky, has reportedly sold shares worth up to $300 million, $230 million, in the company. Lloyds Banking Group plans 292 branch closures in 2025. Lloyds Banking Group has confirmed that it will be closing 292 bank branches across the UK in 2025. eToro USA to stop offering trading in most crypto following SEC settlement. Social investing platform eToro's US business has agreed to pay $1.5 million and stop trading activity in nearly all crypto assets to settle securities and exchange commission charges. Northern Trust launches blockchain-based carbon credit ecosystem. Asset servicer Northern Trust has launched a blockchain-based platform which enables institutional buyers to digitally access carbon credits. Sustainable Finance Live 2024 West Yorkshire Pension Fund invests in Rebalance Earth. The West Yorkshire Pension Fund, WYPF, has bought a 25% stake in Rebalance Earth, a water-related nature restoration organization. Factories partners with MangoPay. Factories has announced its decision to partner with MangoPay in order to power payments and transactions on its circular economy platform. Telemoney partners with Thunes. Thunes, the smart superhighway for global money movement, has announced an alliance with Telemoney, the international remittance arm of Arab National Bank, ANB. Regulator tells Wells Fargo to fix AML deficiencies. Shares in Wells Fargo fell on Thursday after the bank inked a formal agreement with the Office of the Controller pledging to fix deficiencies in its financial crimes risk management practices and anti-money laundering internal controls. Credit unions should become more proactive on business banking. Consumers have increasingly drifted away from credit unions, leaving many organizations looking for new ways to compete in a crowded market. Thank you for joining us for today's coverage. Remember, you can delve deeper into any story we discussed today by visiting our news section at baypayforum.com. We're here every day, bringing you the critical insights and latest trends across the payments and fintech landscape. Until next time, I'm Lisa, thanking you for watching and inviting you to join us again tomorrow for more updates. Stay informed, stay ahead.